Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for September 24th, 2014, Wednesday night, around 7.55 p.m. And the sun's down, it's dark out, and it's going to be in the 50s tonight. Tomorrow could be in the lower 60s. We might have some rain showers up here in the Merrimack Valley area of Massachusetts and New Hampshire, most of the steady and heaviest rain will be south of the Mass Pike, where some places could reach an inch of rain. But we need the rainfall, especially up here, because we're getting very dry. And sooner or later, we'll probably get beneficial rainfall, or maybe we'll get beneficial snowfall later on in the once fall months and winter months. But we don't want to jump ahead of ourselves. Some news to report, the New York Yankees are officially eliminated from the playoffs. This will be the first time since 1993 that either the, the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox will not be in the postseason. That's a bummer. Also, the, the Phoenix Suns have re-signed God Eric Bledsoe to a five-year contract with $70 million. And ESPN's Bill Simmons has been suspended by the network for three weeks for making Bad remarks about Roger Godell. That's not good, making bad remarks. So he's suspended without pay for three weeks. And my third and final video blog of the night is about the personality profile. It's about the late great talk show host Jerry Williams. Jerry Williams was a pioneer in talks radio and everywhere. He had the talk radio format. He was kind of like a Rush Limbaugh type, but he wasn't as, you know, very straight shooting like Rush Limbaugh. He was not really nationally known because he did mainly his show locally and he's famous for being on three radio stations in Boston for over 30 years. He, Jerry grew up in Brooklyn, New York. His real name was Gerald Jacoby. He started his radio career back in 1946 on WCYB in Briscoe, Virginia. Then he moved to work on radio on a talk show for WBIG in Philadelphia. In the late 1950s, he first came to Boston hosting a popular talk show, radio talk show on WMEX 1510 in Boston from 1958 through the mid 60s. It aired from 10 p.m. at night to one of them in the morning. That was the last radio show WMEX played during the weeknights because back then sometimes radio stations signed off the air at, at like past midnight because they didn't have like the advertisements who, who for listening to the radio that night and nights. And he, he was a real popular talk show host and stuff like that. He was kind of a one of those liberal and populist and he criticized the state and federal liberations politician establishments and media you know he got real popular for that in the mid 60s he moved to chicago to be on wbbm radio and then in 1968 he came back to boston for eight years he hosted a talk show on wbz radio and then around that time for about a year Jerry hosted a, t a TV talk show on WBZ TV, but it was popular, but you know, he was stuck to radio. In 1976, he left the Boston market again to move to New York to be hosting a talk show on WMCI. And in the late 1970s, um, Jerry moved to Philadelphia to host a talk show on WWDB. He was the first radio talk show host to host a talk show on the FM dial in the United States. That's pretty amazing. And, and in 1981, he came back to Boston again for the third time. And he hosted a talk show on WRKO 680 for about 17 years. For many years, Jerry Williams had a 2 to 6 p.m. time slot on WRKO. And he... That was his form to talk about a lot of subjects in that day. He talked about like um, the Massachusetts bout 
seat law that he wanted to re repeal and also he was against a proposed prison in New, New Brain Three, Massachusetts, other subjects that was dealt with the Commonwealth and he was a very big criticizer of former governor of Massachusetts Michael Dukakis. He kind of ranted on him just like Rush Limbaugh rants about Obama t today and some of the some of the rants he made about Michael Dukakis got him national attention. He appeared in 1988 on a couple of national talk shows when Michael Dukakis was running for president um, in, in the summer of 1988. Jerry Williams appeared on the Larry King show on CNN. He was talking about Dukakis saying Dukakis had a big lead in the polls in 1988 after the Democratic National Convention and he told Larry King see him lose and lose to Bush, George W. w Bush in a, in, t George W. Um, Herbert Walker Bush in the elections for president by a landslide. He'll lose big time. And Jerry was right. And also, Jerry also appeared on the Morton Downey talk show as well around that time and stuff like that. And Jerry Williams continued to get high ratings for WRKO well into the 90s, but in 1994, when WRKO merged with W um, HDH Radio, they took the Howie Car Show, which was on WHDH from like 2 to like 6 p.m. They transferred him to that time slot. He took Jerry Williams' time slot. Jerry Williams was banished to the mornings and then kind of he was fading away he was still good but he was kind of fading away and stuff like that and his trademark on every radio show he had was he good night and good luck good night t and he was he every christmas he would read read a rendition of a christmas tale and that was pretty good and, and also Jerry Williams got inducted into a few Hall of Fames. The National Radio's Hall of Fame and stuff like that. And the Massachusetts Broadcasters Hall of Fame. And Jerry Williams like retired for in 1998 when WRKO dropped his radio show. It moved to weekends in 1996 but it got low ratings and stuff like that. And in 2000 he briefly made a compact, Jerry Williams, to the new WMEX radio, 1060 on the dial, but he only lasted a few weeks because he had some health issues. And the last few years of his life, he was battling a lot of health issues and problems. He hosted a talk show infrequently on WROL from 2002 to 2003 when he felt up to it. And then on March 1st, 2003, he hosted one last time a talk show on WRKO his health was failing he passed away in April of 2003 at the age of 69 and was very sad to for him to pass away because he was a pot I mean 79 I mean he passed away um, and it was a great loss to the world of talk radio and in 2008 there was a book written about his life called Burning Up the Airwaves and it was it's a great book I, I own it and it's, it's a great book great read for him and it, it's chronicles his life and he lived an amazing life and you know he could have he could have made it made it big as a national radio host and with some of the stuff he said he could have been like kind of the Rush Limbaugh of his day and stuff many people talk show host take his influence like Howie Carr and probably Les Limbaugh and that's about it on that and that's my final video blog of the night I hope you enjoy these video blogs Facebook friends and YouTube followers I love doing them I'll continue to do them for days months weeks years decades millennium infinity until the end of time and three more subjects will be discussed about tomorrow one of them is going to be confirmed right now it's the 
10 greatest celebrities slash panelists on game shows. And there'll be two more others I will tell you if you are my Facebook friend as the final, uh, my final status of the night. And don't forget, in the near future, there's definitely going to be video blogs about Julie Pratt and Local News 6 and Heidi Lee Pratt and Janelle Tobin and Dee Patel and Crystal Pistol and others. I'm going to do some video blogs, personality profiles when I'm coming to Bruins season about some Bruins legends like Eddie Shaw, Harry Sendon, Johnny Busick, the Chief, Phil Esposito, and Dip Kapler, Lionel Hitchman, Ray Bork, so many others. And next Wednesday's my 2014-2015 NHL video blog preview and don't forget if you want to shout out Facebook friends and YouTube followers send me a shout out I'll shout it out good night bye see you tomorrow